On Tuesday, December 28th, 2010, members of the Arizona State Legislature were briefed on a new concept for border protection. Attending the briefing were State Senators Russell Pierce, Gail Griffin, Al Melvin, and Andy Biggs, and State Representative John Kavanaugh. Briefers were Glenn Spencer of American Border Patrol, Mike King of Border Technology, and Craig Walters of Basin Geophysical. Right there, they're over 200 yards from the sensor line right now. We've already detected them. And you can see the battery, the seismograph unit itself, the electronics. We have cables strung out in either direction on there. And then at feeding to a central location, to a single IP address, it's taking in all this data, counting, alerting, or whatever that the state wants to do. Apprehensions, then the headline is, this system works. If we call the Border Patrol and they don't come, and we have mass crossings, we can say, look what they're letting agree, we need to secure the border, or that's really not the issue. The issue is, how do we know when the border is secure? How do we measure that? News for us, Brenda Gano shows us why one group thinks an old technology may hold a new answer. Is this right here the answer to border security? It's just a little geophone. It's a magnet inside of a coil. Best part, you can see, it's very tough but it can still sense the smallest vibrations, like somebody walking across the border. And today, we got a demonstration. I want the committee members to know that I did my research and I talked to Mr. Spencer personally. I went to his home and uh, I felt that I found that him to be a very concerned American and a man who was concerned about our border security I was very fascinated with the technology that he's going to demonstrate here today, and I felt... Now, let's say if we had this on the U.S.-Mexico border and we counted every single person that attempted to enter this country, well, then we have a figure of merit. And then we can find out exactly how good our U.S. government is doing. In yeah, protecting so, them. thank you for taking the time and doing this. But more importantly, I want to thank you for everything you've done on the border, which I know is extensive. This portion of the international border is a known corridor for human and drug smuggling, but a company called Border Technology says that they've come up with a way to secure it. I got uh, our pilot in sight coming in right now. The technology is placed underground, and the moment somebody walks by, it detects them. So instead of just having one little area that's covered, we can cover an entire border or entire perimeter of an airport. As Michael King explains, the technology they have developed over the last few years is hypersensitive, capable of distinguishing if a group of people is walking nearby or whether an aircraft is flying overhead. That's appealing to State Senator Al Melvin, who has strong concerns about border security. But as you can see, we've got fence here that's pretty sophisticated, so now we have to fill in the gaps with this technology. In 2013, Northrop Grumman asked its engineers to find promising new grassroots ideas. Out of 217 ideas submitted, 15 were selected for further study. Sidearm, then called Identicize, was one of the winners. Engineers ran tests of the system at American Border Patrol's test range. They visited John Ladd at his 10-mile wide border ranch, where half a mile of sidearm had been installed. Glenn Spencer and Mike King were awarded a patent for the technology in 2015. Following major improvements, a second patent was awarded in 2017. This new technology picks up if a person, car, or animal is walking along the border. And once it does, a signal is sent and the drone takes off. Solar powered, out of sight, can run any length of the border. They're not going to see anything unless they can detect it somehow. They just don't know. Glenn Spencer lives along the border south of Sierra Vista. The retired engineer and pilot has been working on sensor technology for more than a decade. More recently, he's been working with defense contractor Northrop Grumman on a way to detect drones coming across the border. In 2017, CBP issued an RFI for border sensors that can detect all entering threats, can tell the difference between humans, vehicles, and animals, and avoid blind spots. Glenn Spencer's small company, Border Technology, responded. Nine months later, Sidearm was picked for a demonstration. Northrop had recently installed its drone sensor, so it joined in the demonstration and helped by preparing this summary. The Sidearm Maui detection system 
is an above and below ground passive linear boundary acoustic and seismic sensor system that can detect humans on foot, vehicles, low radar cross-section aircraft, and small unmanned aerial systems. Detection information is radioed to a central C2 that alerts the user. SMDS uses industry-proven commercial off-the-shelf hardware combined with powerful algorithms to detect threats. The system is able to discriminate between human, animal, ground vehicle, low-flying aircraft, and SUAS targets. The non-line-of-sight nature of acoustic and seismic signals allows the system to operate effectively in terrains without blind spots created by obstacles. SMDS is low swap and can be powered by its own small solar panels allowing it to be used in rugged locations with no supporting infrastructure. In other words, Sidearm could be America's alarm system. The demonstration happened, but not as originally planned. The on-site visit was replaced with a video link that lasted one hour. The system performed well under the circumstances. Eleven months later, BTI was notified that no contract would be awarded. No winner was announced. A fully secure border today is more critical than ever. Is it time to take another look at sidearm? Huge way. You cannot sneak across this line. You can't tunnel under it. You can't tiptoe across it. And if you're low-flying aircraft, we're going to detect you.